Now, let's talk about optics and implications. All right. All right. So now we're talking about vi a video. You know, first of all, the authenticity of the video and capabilities and, you know. Oh, would you look at that? Seems like that magical electrical issue that was causing these magical $400 utility bills are not having magical electrical issues anymore. That's pretty, uh, pretty magical. But let's talk optics. All right. That video is out there. The internet doesn't forget. Let's talk about the rule of real estate. Location, location, location. If I was ever wanting to frame somebody that uh, could do something that people throughout history had been dying to learn and figure it out, show a video, video evidence without manipulation. Even set out a challenge. Prove that you could do it. No audio editing, no video editing, no manipulation. Full transparency. Prove that you can do it. All right? Now, where the rule of real estate falls in. Location, location, location. R.J. Reynolds being in the same town. All right? Tobacco distributor. All right? Local legends and lore. Now, let's talk about detrimental and not detrimental, okay? When it comes to optics, okay? So you have somebody who has shown video evidence of what has in the, you know, lore, conspiracy, that has historically, like for so much longer than I've been alive, been desired to be a capability. So much so that I had a name long before I existed. Pyrokinesis. Now, why is Schrodinger trying to Schrodinger this topic? Very dangerous. Because if I wanted to try to frame somebody who, first off, doesn't know if, you know, capabilities, implementations, this would be the last place on earth that they should ever live and that you should ever want to keep them trapped at. Because as society has seen with the weaponization of Gladwin's theory, keep somebody talking long enough, they're going to seem like a supremacist or a Nazi. Well, talking about these theories and the implementation and all that, and possibilities, capabilities, mode of intent, opportunity, you know, lawful application of the law, you know, uh, history, all that and everything. Yeah. So, history was made. I was the first person in existence to ever demonstrate successfully. With no manipulation, no production techniques, something like that, that it is possible to shut fire off with your mouth. All right. Now, the fact that there's evidence of this now is more dangerous than ever. All right, because location-wise, cigarette factory, and you're thinking this is future me's problem. No, it isn't, because location-wise. Pyrokinesis, plus location was, trying to force them into a stationary position in the same town that the cigarette company is in. All right? The manufacturer and distributor. All right? One of the most predatory industries in the world. You know? I mean, ultimately, when it comes to optics, 
this really could end up causing a problem. Because with wanting to rely on the rumor mill and everything, a rumor could end up coming out that uh, you know, my capability could end up because I've been shown to be able to put out fires. But I don't know if I'm capable of starting the fire. And this is dangerous to not find out. Because uh, a rumor could give the tobacco company an excuse to not pay out on wrongful death and, you know, all, all the back settlement amounts that they were supposed to have made up on. Like, we are talking historically, like the entirety of their history. Now, me being here with what I'm able to do. There have been no claims from the tobacco industry that there is a potential fire that could have burned down the entire fucking plant. Alright? So, ultimately, arguing about possibility, capability, implementation, all that and everything, let's talk about usefulness, alright? How could me being right here be useful to anybody? Well, when it comes to religion, obviously there are people that are going to disprove me and all that. But now the reality is, trying to prevent the releasing of the possibility, there are people that are getting hurt by trying to delay the process of the scientific process. And you know what that is? Um, people that could end up benefiting, all right? Let's, let's talk about even history of benefiting, all right? Being able to shut off even just a small flame with your mind from a distance, you know? Projectile, ma you know, manipulation of molecules. You know, molecule man. Like, for example, the one that was hypothesized to be, you know, the most powerful being in the Marvel ethos for being able to control everything on a molecular level. You know, if it has molecules, molecule man could control it, that, that level, you know, S tier. But um, anyway, so, um, so your infractory doesn't burn down. You got people that are upset because, you know, hey, if that cigarette factory would have burned down, um, ultimately that would have forced, you know, my addicted sibling to quit. But if that cigarette factory does burn down, oh look, the cigarette company doesn't have to pay on any lawsuits that they've lost. Oh, what you'll get? Well, no harm, no foul. Um, you had to pay out a shit ton because your product had been killing generations. And uh, ultimately, the name rebranding, renaming, all that. There's not a pretty look. But, um, yeah, the factory that your factory burned down, I'm like, oh no, without a factory, you can't continue distribution and manufacturing and everything. Then at that point, those siblings that direly wanted that family member to quit, now they're forced to quit because that factory and that business no longer exist. So, now they're forced to deal with their withdrawals. You're forced to be within the vicinity of their collateral damage of those withdrawals, and that's happening on a national basis. So that's what not knowing, not hurting would be. Now, historically, who would benefit from that ability? Um, everyone that lost everything in Chicago fires. Um, you know, possibly that super superstition could be a very good thing. You know, for the right person with the right intentions. You know? Like, for example, permanently providing housing and stipend and all that. You know? Living up to the deal that somebody else wanted to try to huck Finn. All right? Now, how could that form somebody's political campaign? Hmm. Covering all costs and relocation and all that to relocate me, you know, with, uh, 
you know, the video celebrated all that. You know, being like, whoa, history really has changed, especially because understanding hiding that from the scientific community is, uh, yeah, it's kind of a big fuck you. You may not like it, but uh, it, it doesn't change what it is. Um, at the way that it would be applicable. Um, let's see. Some people that would have benefited from uh, that ability. Joan of Arc. You know? I mean, ultimately, you know, she was burned at the stake. Um, let's see. For example, everyone that was accused of being a witch. Hmm. Who would be another person in modern day that could actually benefit from that? And I'm not saying, like, say, understand. That ability, it provides a very strong use in society. All right? So imagine your ability being, with video evidence to be able to show it, that your power is capable of being like this, to do this. All right? Now, starting fires, that has not been shown yet. All right? There has not been enough learning to learn if spontaneous combustion, you know, setting the setting of fires is possible. And Schrodinger, uh, Schrodinger doing Schrodinger on the situation is not going to help. Because understand. All right. So you don't like the pagan community, right? It's like, hey, well, when it comes to the fucking pagan community, the pagan community, if I remember correctly, was the ones getting burned at the stake, and the Christians were the ones burning people at the stake. So historically, Christians don't really like things that try to take the things that they want to burn out and uh, take the possibility of being able to, you know, keep the fire awake. They don't like that happening by them. Yeah. Um, why would I not be relocated to a high drought wildfire location? All right. Not to mention that, but if it's a skill that I would actually be able to teach somebody, because I don't know yet. So results really would may vary, but how are everyone from the fire department not wanting to try? Like, if, if I if I can teach y'all. Like, I don't know if I can teach y'all. But, like, understand. And understand, this is, like, privilege level within the fire, com you know, fire community. Firefighter community. They're going to look at it as you got special privileges. Because, hey, you ended up being within the fire precinct of, uh, you know... The, uh, you know, same location of where the tobacco company is. So, obviously, you guys would end up getting the opportunity to help figure this out before anybody. You know, because, I mean, I would imagine your guys' area is a lot more well-funded. I mean, you've got literally an entire globe's addiction funding your entire neighborhood. But, uh, yeah, if I can teach you. Imagine you didn't have to risk your fucking life and your future with your kids and potentially be able to work from home while being able to put out the fires of people's houses. Those people end up not losing everything that they fucking worked for. And uh, your families don't have to complain about the occupational hazard of having to take the danger of running into the fire. Now, ultimately, I would say that that would actually be a good thing that your wives would actually appreciate, unless, of course, they want you dead. I mean, if they want you dead, then, you know, obviously they're not going to be very, you know, proving of the idea. But speculation would be the only thing that would keep you trying. Skepticism is what would draw you in, though. All right? And to be blunt with you,
I'm as skeptical as you are. And I'm the one that can fucking do it. All right. Now, I've tried getting history on the education of fire as a fucking element. It has taken a long, long time. But how are firefighters not insulted by the thought of somebody trying to say that that would be a useless skill? You know, pyrokinesis or the, you know, because remember, manipulation means turn off or turn on. So pyrokinesis would still apply, you know, because it's manipulating the fire, but it's manipulating to turn it off. The off switch. Don't know if it's capable to turn it on. You know? Wouldn't feel safe trying to find out how to turn it on. But, um... Oh, that's right. Oh, there's, there's another Marvel mutant in that situation that, that applies to. Oh, canonical. Uh, if I remember correctly, his name was Pyro. Um, he was one of the bad guys in the movie, transitioned to be good. Uh, thing is, though, without a lighter, you know, the tool, he wasn't able to go ahead and start fires. But he was able to turn them on or turn them off. But without the use of a lighter, couldn't turn them on. All right. Now. Self-preservation. My point on this is, doesn't matter the religion, doesn't matter the applicable factor. What matters is, if you really want a fucking holy war, let's go ahead and talk about the debate that'll happen between Christians and pagans when somebody that was capable of being able to shut fire off with their fucking mind is now having to go through a whole witch hunt, witch trial bullshit. And somebody thought it would be a quote-unquote good idea to put the person that is shown to be capable of it right at the fucking epicenter of the center where the tobacco manufacturer is. That sounds like opportunity, motive, and premeditation for, you know, an entire industry that's predatorily killed generations. To potentially use that person to try to escape liability f to for paying out settlements while trying to also have a fall person, you know, that you wanted to make sure that they were conveniently stationed around to enable the tobacco companies to do that. You know, I, I would want to get that person far the fuck away from that location, you know? Because we're not going to make uh, the devil right, wrong, all that and everything. We're going to talk about hysteria. Because when hysteria gets introduced, there is no such fucking thing as an assurance. So... Christians and pagans want to go ahead and continue on a fucking holy war that's very much so possible I just never thought that I would be Isaiah from fucking Civil War 2 when Tony Stark and Captain Marvel had to argue the fucking efficacy of Isaiah's ability to go ahead and be able to predict the future and go and actually be right he had been proven wrong before well what happens when he does end up getting proven wrong or if he does get proven wrong because we're not in the future we don't know all right so you, you just want to take the risk all right well that being said risk schrodinger all that if you're not able to find an alternative if you're not able to find an idea to be able to actually you know, not put a band-aid over a bullet wound. 
I, I would suggest actually finding a solution to this because this ends up becoming more than a local debate and actually becomes like a national news fucking debate. I would imagine that uh, it would end up starting some uh, satanic panic type shit that would end up using religion to, you know, use as a pretext for a fucking foreign war, you know, that would end up going ahead and stoking up, you know, because, I mean, Palestine and Israel, Russia and Ukraine, you know, like, you see the fucking problem here? Like, there has never been an opportunity for warfare to be had. And for somebody to be able to financially profit and benefit. That has not been opportunized since the fucking dawn of time. So I don't understand how you don't see a problem with that concoction. All right? Because I would imagine if something happens to me, the pagan community takes the blame. The pagan community fights with the Christian community. They fight against who that person backed, how they were able to do what they were doing, able to not do, all that. All right? Do you think this is not going to go ahead and... Uh, Cause a problem with the uh, Department of Defense that you wanted to weaponize Project Hermit also? I mean, I'm pretty sure if you wanted to go ahead and force somebody into a dirt dangerous servitude for decades and wanted to disprove, and disprove them and everything, and wanted to try to do what you could to not remove skepticism, this, this is definitely about to go. This is... <laughs> Alright? But if you think that this is not a situation that could literally stoke literal fucking combative warfare. Ask Palestine and Israel how the fuck that is working out. That's all I'm going to say. You can't spell compassion without compass. So do not let people sway your fucking moral objection with fucking propaganda campaigns.